On a team with one of the very best forwards in the game in Nathan McKinnon, and a defenseman who some think could go down as one of the best ever in Kellen McCarr, it makes sense that people can overlook Miko Rantanen and just how good he is. The 6'4", 215-pound power forward from Finland is an absolute force on the ice and has earned his nickname of the Moose, which was given to him based on his sheer size and because of how hard it is for the opposition to take the puck off of him. The 10th overall pick from the 2015 draft has been an excellent pro since he came into the NHL at 20 years old after lighting up the AHL for one year, and he's really gotten better and better each season, posting career highs in nearly every new season, including last year, where he put up 55 goals and 105 points, both the best marks of his career, and his 55 goals were third in the entire league. In this season, although he's only on pace for 46 goals, he's on pace for over 110 points, which would break his career high yet again if he can pull it off. Miko is the complete package when it comes to an NHL forward, and over the past few seasons, he's a superstar that has become one of the best all-around players in the league. Playing with Nathan McKinnon certainly would help just about any player, but it takes a special type of player to keep up with the speed Nate plays at, and to be able to really make the game easier in the way that Rantanen does for McKinnon. He's also got tools that few other players in the world do, and his ability to rip rocket wrist shots from just about anywhere in the offensive zone to beat goalies, but he's also not afraid to go get a greasy goal in front of the net or score on a beautiful deflection goal that he and McKinnon have been connecting on a lot recently. I wonder if this has anything to do with how close of friends and training partners Crosby and McKinnon are. Miko can also fire one-timers on the power play, and he has one of the best backhanders in the league as well, which he scored multiple sweet goals over the years using. I don't think it's a coincidence that Rantanen's second year in the league was also the year where McKinnon had his breakout season. Miko also had 84 points that year, but the two haven't looked back since and have become one of the NHL's most dominant and consistent duos, which has led to big-time team success and, of course, a Stanley Cup. The Avalanche captain, Gabe Landeskog, was also a huge part of their success, playing on a line with Nate and Miko that many considered the best in hockey for quite a while. But when Landy went down with an injury, the other two really stepped up, even playing on separate lines for a good part of last season. This year, with Gabe out of the lineup again, Mack and the Moose have picked up right where they left off and are having their best years of their careers offensively. Both are currently in the top five in league scoring. And they are the biggest reason, along with Kel McCarr and Devin Taves, why this Avs team has a chance to contend for another cup this season. For me, Miko Rantanen seems like the closest thing in today's game to a modern day Yarmer Yager. They've got that similar size in skating, both are extremely tough to take off the puck, Yager definitely was more dominant, and of course won quite a few scoring titles, but I think Miko does have the skill and ability to potentially win one someday. There are just so many superstars in today's game. Nonetheless, Miko is certainly a guy that deserves more respect for how great of a player he is and how consistent he's been over the last seven seasons playing at a dominant level. Comment below what you think of Miko Rantanen and let me know where you think he ranks among the game's top players and whether or not the Avs can win another cup this year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.